All right, so welcome back to our last video on probability. So this is probably the most difficult question you'll get on the box method. I've tried to include every kind of possible question they can ask. So if you know how to do all of these, it should cover you for any question they ask. So the word we have is nuclear, uh, and it's asking a couple of different things about how many ways it can be arranged. So the first one it says, how many ways it's gonna be arranged if there are no restrictions. Then it says, if it has to end with a certain letter, in this case, the letter L, if it has to begin, with a certain set of letters, this time vowel, uh, if all three vowels have to be together, if the N and C have to be together, and if the N and the C have to be apart. So six different questions we have to ask. Um, all of them are gonna require slightly different thinking, but they're all gonna use the box method. So I will go down, make some space, and we'll start. So I'll go question one over here on the right. If there are no restrictions, we have seven different letters in nuclear, and um, then the answer is just seven factorial, because there are no restrictions, we're just arranging uh, letters in a, in a sequence. Seven factorial is going to be five, zero, four, zero. So that's the answer for this one, handy enough. Okay, if it has to end with L, I'll go down here to make space. If it has to end with L, I'll change to yellow. And um, we're gonna have to use the box method. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So seven boxes and they're all gonna be multiplied by each other. So we start with the kind of restriction rule first and then we're gonna go from left to right. So we start with saying it has to end with L. So there's only one L in nuclear. So that means this last one, the, the amount of options we have for this box is one, it has to be an L. So then after this, one letter is gone. Say, we'll say this letter is gone, uh, the L, and we have to fill in the rest of it from left to right. So there are no more restrictions. So the rest of it, we can just fill in as normal. So there's six letters left. So we go six here, and then we go five here, four, three, two, and one. So each case, as we fill in each kind of space, there's less and less options left. So in this question, the answer is gonna be six by five by four by three by two by one, which is going to be uh, 720. So the different number of arrangements we can get if it has to end with an L. Okay, next we're gonna look at part three, which I'll scroll down slightly for. Um, so part three, again, we'll draw the boxes out. So here we have our seven boxes. Um, I'll scroll down a little bit more. So it must begin with the vowel. Um, and there are three vowels in nuclear. There's either a U, an E, or an A. So that means if it has to begin with the vowel, then our first option is gonna have a number three in it because we either have U, E, or A in it. And then after that, there are no more restrictions. Um, so we can fill it in as normal again. So since there's one, even though there's a three in this box here, only one of the letters is taken up and there's six letters left in nuclear after one letter is gone. So that means it's gonna be six and then we continue as normal. Five, four, three, two, and one. Multiply all of those together um, and we'll find that the answer is gonna be 2,160. So I'll just move straight on to the next one. Uh, part four is all three vowels have to be together. So this one is uh, a little bit different, a little bit challenging. I'll just scroll down. All three vowels have to be together. So we'll start by drawing our box out. Uh, there it is. So I'll actually make a lot of space here because this one is a little bit more complicated. So I'll start from pretty much the top here. Um, so there are seven different spaces, but we know that all three vowels have to be together, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna actually draw a big box around these three here, and we're gonna say that those are the three vowels. So for example, we could have N, U, C, actually no, no, not N, C, L, R, and then we could have U, A, E. So each of these is gonna be in a box, um, make that a little bit better, such as this, or we could have something like N, C, U, A, E, and then L, and then R, or, and again, these could be in a box. So those are say two different arrangements of the letters in nuclear if all the vowels are together. So as you can see, if we put each letter in a box, there are actually five boxes this time because there's the four consonants and then there's the three vowels as they're almost one letter because they're, they're moving moving all together. So 
there are five different ways. So for example, if we look at each of these just as, um, say if we have N, C, L, R, and then V for vowels, if you had to just arrange these, the answer would be five factorial. There are no restrictions. If we're saying V counts for all the vowels um, like that, then it would just be arranging these five letters and it would be five factorial. So it's not as simple as that. And the reason it's not as simple as that is because this UA here, UAE here, that isn't the only combination of vowels. You could also have UEA or loads of different combinations. So we also have to uh, factor that in. So it's going to be five factorial because the N, C, L, or, and then vowels multiplied by three factorial because this UAE, that can be arranged three factorial times. So our answer in the end, is going to be five factorial by three factorial. And if we wanted to you do that using the hangman method, so up here, you'd start by saying, you'd kind of think about it in terms of N, C, L, R, V like this. Um, so you'd have five options here for the first box. You'd have four options here for the second box, three options, two options. And the last box would be sort of one option. Uh, and then inside this, you'd have three by two by one. So using the hangman method kind of like this isn't super clear. I think it's a little bit more clear to think about it in kind of think about it like this basically. Um, and it's much easier like that. So the answer is going to be five factorial by three factorial anyway. Uh, and if we stick that into our calculator, we'll find that the answer is going to be 720 different ways of arranging it with three vowels together. So those are the first four, the last two sort of come together. Uh, the, the second last one is sort of similar to this one here. So I'll scroll down and make some space. Ooh, there's not much space. I will go across for this then. Go across here. Um, and make some space here. So for part five, they're asking how many ways can you arrange it if the N and C have to be together. So again, um, I will kind of come at this the same way we did the last time. So U, not C, U, L, E, A, R, and then we'll say N, C. So if you want to put each of these in a box, this is just one arrangement of it. But it just shows it. No, never mind. Sorry. So if we put, we have um, U, L, E, A, and R, and then N, C, and we put each of them in a box. And in this case, we have one, two, three, four, five, six separate boxes. Okay, so there's six boxes. So if we just have to rearrange U, L, E, A, R, and then N, C as one thing, then the answer would be just be six factorial. But again, we have to consider that you can either have N, C, or C, N. So you have to multiply this by two factorial, which is just two, basically. So the answer is going to be six factorial by two factorial. And again, it's kind of the same the same reason as the nuclear with all the vowels together. So I'm not sure if I explained it better uh, for that one, but it's the exact same logic. And it's gonna be six factorial by two factorial. And your answer then is going to be 1,440. And then the last part is probably the most difficult one. So part six. So it says N and C apart, okay? And the trick is, there's no way of doing this with hangman. So no way, say with hangman. There's no direct way anyway. Uh, it's really, really difficult to do this using the hangman method and just trying to trying to keep the N and the C apart. So the trick is that there are overall, if you remember over here, when there are no restrictions, there are seven factorial, which is 5,040 different ways of arranging uh, the letters in the word nuclear, okay? And we set up here, uh, there are 1,440 ways of arranging the letters in the word nuclear if the N and C are together. So that means the amount of uh, ways where N and C are and apart is going to be, we're going we're to get it from those two. So we have, let's scroll up a little bit. We have our 5040 up in the top left corner, 5040. And then we have 1440. So if we take away all the times where they're together, from the total ways of uh, arranging them, then every other way it has to be, they have to be apart. Because if they're not together, they have to be apart. Um, so if we just take this away from the other, we're gonna find that 3,600 is the answer. So those are the amount of ways where N and C are apart when we're arranging the letters in the word nuclear. Uh, so that is a really difficult example. It's just something you have to 
uh, I guess, spot and remember this sort of uh, example we did if it comes up in an exam. It, it's just, it's difficult basically. There's no other way of putting it. Um, so I'll try and cut the video here just because we're going over 10 minutes. I want to keep them as short as possible. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. Maybe try watching it again and you can try a few different questions. But this should, these questions should cover you for pretty much everything they're going to ask you in the exam. Um, and just make sure you're comfortable with the box method because it's the most it's the most difficult thing in probability, but it uh, does come up a little bit as well. So, yeah, that's it for probability. Hope you enjoyed the videos. Uh, if you want, you can have a look at some of our other playlists. Um, we have them on every single topic, leaving cert, higher level maths. Uh, and you can also check out the website where we have loads of other notes on different subjects. So uh, see you next time and thanks for watching.